Good evening. Uh, this is Katz from Yokoso News, yokosonews.com. Yokoso News is online website to introduce Japan in English so that you can understand Japan more. However, due to the March 11th earthquake, I've been kind of doing this、uh, disaster update、uh, since the six minutes after the earthquake. And then.、Uh, Um, so, today is the、uh, weekly regular、uh, disaster update. I don't know what's the definition of the week,、uh, regular anymore since this is kind of emergency.、Um, but the emergency kind of turned into、hmm. the normal stage. So,、uh, so anyway,、um, today, tonight, It, today is the May 31st, 2011, Tuesday night, Japan Standard Time, as on 8 p.m. And then, oh my god, it's already the end of May. And then, yeah. So we had some weekly update, but today we are going to invite Dean Wormald from、uh, Toyota Aichi Japan, who is the、uh, editor of. Japan Travel Mate.com joining us to talk about stuff. About a、uh, stuff. And then we have Jim from. Where's Jim's title? I, I miss Jim's title. Where is Jim?、Uh, I miss Jim. Yeah, I lost Jim's title. Okay, Jim Borden from Kazo, Saitama Kazo, joining us for now.、Uh, so、uh, we'll talk about travel in Japan today. So, there we go. I finally got the speakers working. Okay. Music by Kevin McLeod. All right, so now Dean. Hello. Hello, Dean. Hi. So, uh, for having me on the show. No problem, Dean. Thank you. Thank you very much for being、uh, Yokoso News. So,、uh, and also, we have a Jim. Jim, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So,、uh, it's been two weeks. Did you, you were just away for a week, right? Two weeks? No,、uh, last week I wasn't here, but the week before I was here. Okay. Good. All right, so、uh, Dean, <laughs> so would you, would you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Well,、uh, as Kat said, my name's Dean Wormald.、Uh, I come from Australia.、Uh, I have been in Japan for a few months now.、Uh, before this, I was regularly traveling to Japan from Australia,、uh, visiting many friends. Around kind of central, east,、uh, central, western, and southern Japan.、Uh, I used to work in advertising for about six or seven years. I worked for Microsoft, I worked for Xbox, and a whole bunch of other massive companies, but I quickly got very sick of the busy hours. So I came over to Japan and I'm currently. Uh, doing the teaching English thing、uh, while I'm working on a few website projects. Which is japantravelmate.com.、Oh. Yes, yes.、Uh, so I started japantravelmate.com after my first holiday to Japan.、Uh, I found myself in Japan looking for information during my holiday, which would help me to get around and actually. Do things in Japan,、uh, and I found this kind of information hard to find. So I、uh, attempted to start my own blog, which turned into more of a, a website.、Uh, and what you see there today has been running for almost two years now. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So、uh, I heard that you just got 
to Japan, like when did you start? Uh, when did you start coming to uh, Japan? Uh, so I I started traveling to Japan about three years ago, but I started living in Japan in March this year. So before the three eleven disaster, I had my ticket booked and ready to go. Uh, and I left Australia around about the 20th of March. So just over two months I've been here. Oh, so you, you uh, among those uh, conflicts, you still decided to come to Japan? Yes, yes, very much so. <laughs> I, had, I had my family, my friends, a lot of people in Australia saying, don't go, just don't go to Japan.、Um, But I'm not one who trusts mainstream media, so I did a lot of research and found out that it is actually more than safe to travel to Japan. So I、um, thought that if anything, the least that I could do is travel to Japan and stick to my plans of、um, teaching high school students. I'm still alive. <laughs> ah, nice to hear. <laughs> Good to hear. So, so,、um, What, why, like, so what did you, like, so today's topic is that、um, actually,、uh, even, you know, since you have the、uh, website called japantravelmate.com to talk about travel,、yep. so、uh, we could、um, talk about、um, travel and yeah, then yeah. also maybe possibly, like,、um, you know, talk about, like,、uh, Like what to,、uh, what, to, uh, what to expect living, partly living in Japan too. We actually look for some questions、mm. on the internet, Facebook, and stuff too. Then、um, uh, I also, you also had some question. Oh, to, oh I'm, I'm messed up with my title. I, I, couldn't put, I couldn't find Jim's title on my, the, the subtitle and stuff. I'm sorry, Jim. My title? Yeah, I made the title for you. Ooh!、Uh, but uh, but uh, I, can't, I can't really find it <laughs> on, on my、uh, Mac, but it's okay. Yeah, no, it's not okay. I'm, I'm sorry.、Um, so, so、um, yeah, so let's,、uh, let's actually look through、uh, some, of, so,、um, some of the questions, and you also can interrupt. You can also sneak in some questions too.、Uh, Jim,、uh, Jim and also Dean, too. So, first question I had on the page of、uh, Yokoso News website from one guest 40 minutes ago s a y Hi, k a z I have a friend coming who is in an early pregnancy. It's all of the food and water supply safe. Ah, that's a.、Uh... I think that's a very common question for travelers. Probably the second most common question.、Uh, oh, really? Besides, is it safe to travel to Japan in the first place? Oh, really?、Uh, yes, yes, definitely.、Um, I've been looking at the information that's coming out of the、um, Japan's official tourism agency.、Um, I assume there are Government body, they're Japanese officials, and、uh, the JNTO, sorry? Yeah, JNTO, coming, yeah. Yeah, coming out of the JNTO. And、uh, one of the things that they are reassuring people is that food and water is safe. The food and water that is available to the public is safe.、Mm. Uh, and especially as a tourist, the, the food that you're going to encounter is definitely safe. So,、um, From seeing the media here in Japan,、uh, we can all see that it, it's pretty major news when、uh, a certain type of food is、uh, banned from being sold to the public. Yeah, for so, example, uh,、um, last, the, last week it was、uh, green tea from Shizuoka. Uh, uh, so uh, Somehow, those、uh, green tea accumulate cesium more, more than any other leaves.、Mm. 
so uh, they've tested and uh, some of the green tea from uh, no she's I'm sorry no she's I'm sorry Kanagawa I'm sorry I'm sorry my, my bad Ooh, Kanagawa. Kanagawa yeah so, um, so 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 that uh, their uh, green tea is has uh, more cesium that's probably from the uh, March uh, 15 to 16 the blast travel and then green tea has a tendency to pick up the uh, stuff so uh, um, then also uh, of, I've been monitoring independent reporters too of Japan in Japanese and then uh, um, yes there are many people to be honest with you I'm not going to hide anything many people are still uh, worrying about the um, worrying about the uh, uh, safety of the food if the government is hiding anything or not and then what do you what do you feel like Dean is do you think a Japanese government is hiding something uh, well seeing lately that there could be a vote of no confidence against uh, Khan uh -huh. uh, you know I've, I've, I've always thought that they are quite um, can be a little bit secretive uh -huh. uh, perhaps so I think they're doing due diligence in telling what's going on um, I don't think they would hide anything such as you know drinking water is, is not safe and they're hiding that fact or something like that so uh, yeah. I'm trusting but the, the, the thing that I would say is like some people I think the, the timeliness of information is probably probably one thing that that people have not been happy with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you think, um, what do you think, uh, um, Jim? I can tackle the water supply question a little better because of, well, there's a, there's a lot of places you can get food from, but there's only so many water plants in Japan, and they're all putting data out. Now, you could say, oh, well, well, who trusts the data? Maybe the data's wrong. Maybe it's a cover-up, but... You know, then you're just, you know, on the on the verge of being paranoid. Paranoia. Yeah. I mean, what are the odds that all all of the local governments are conspiring together to put out false data? Yeah, I mean, if it could, it, I'm I'm I would say that uh, you know, um, I I kind of would say that uh, it could. It, it could be like it's as a result you you might end up being like uh, stuff that Japanese government could end up like hiding something but that's more tends to be the mistake of mm -hmm. the Japanese government so in a way um, you like that's why I'm kind of saying that you should believe Japanese government as much as you believe your government. Yeah. Plus one more thing. This is 2011, and I I would hate. It. I'm. I, I mean, I would. <laughs> I would think that governments would learn by now that in the age of the internet, it's very hard to cover things up, you know, yeah. and get away with it. Yeah, yeah. So thanks, thankfully, independent reporter um, journalists are now have more power to. Uh, report stuff so uh, I think um, yeah so um, I'm, I'm so then one of the, one of the problem is that for the for non Japanese speaker in Japan is that many of the information are spoken in Japanese so uh, um, uh, it, including those independent reporters uh, interrogation stuff too so that's why I'm trying to um, equals you know, try to re report that uh, equally from both uh, Japanese government perspective and the independent media's perspective as well. Uh, since uh, you know, but uh, yeah, but thanks to uh, thanks to internet and thanks to uh, Japanese government being a little bit the democrat democratic than any other country in the world. I mean, I mean any other like those. Uh, uh, those 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 countries, I think. So those uh, countries. Yeah, those countries. You you know those countries. So, ah, yeah, I know those countries. <laughs> uh, they haven't they haven't blocked any stuff yet, so far. So.
So uh, I think, but but the key word is censorship. Yeah, censorship. Yeah, but but anyway, going back to the topic of food and water supply, safe. Um, I think、uh, they are safe, but which is on the market for now, right now,、uh, from the information I gather.、Um, but you know, of course,、um, Japanese. I don't think Japanese government is hiding anything, but Japanese government could miss something. And then,、uh, so we still have, you know, some people. Actually,、uh, I was talking to, I just,、uh, just one of the e x a m p l e I was talking to someone last night that、um, they don't want to eat the vegetable from that, you know, those a r e a even though. So, you, you, you could have a choice. And Japan is the large country, and then we also import some foods too. So,、um, but I still I ate the,、uh, I, I put the carrot in my curry. I put the carrot from Fukushima in my curry, it was delicious. But, you know. <laughs> so,、um, yeah. So,、uh, um, and it doesn't, say, it doesn't say what she wa- why she wants to know if she's planning a trip to Japan. Then, a way to maximize the,、uh, or, well, minimize, maximize the safety by minimizing the exposure to vegetables from that area just to be extra safe. You know, when you're pregnant, you should be extra, extra safe. Then travel to Western, Western <laughs> Japan. Now,、yeah. I don't think Western Japan, I mean, how much food from, that, from the Fukushima area goes to Western Japan? Do you have any idea? You, you could come to, uh, you could come to, uh, Yokaichi. Yokaichi too. <laughs> you could come to Toyota where Dean is, right?、Mm. <laughs> Very s u c h Yeah. So you, you don't have, there's not only Tokyo you should go, there's、uh, Osaka, Fukuoka, Okinawa, other places. Kyoto is a wonderful city. I've、oh、been there three、god. times. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, cannot, I, never, I never get bored with Kyoto. If I have too much money, I should probably spend a year there or something. <laughs> so,、um, anyway,、uh, so that's the food and water supply safe. Yes,、uh, as all the information I gathered,、uh, independent journalist is、uh, giving out the caution that、uh, um, you know, we really have to pay attention to. Um, check all the vegetables and check every single vegetable in Japan and all over the world. There, there are some journal, I, I just going to tell you that there are some Japanese journalists, there are some Japanese scientists alarming that we should check all kinds, every single vegetable and every single seafood, every single、um, stuff in the world. And then I do have to admit that、uh, none, none of the old food all over Japan. Japan are checked right now. But um, um, so that's the one concern that one, ja- you know, few, ja- I mean, ma-、uh, a few Japanese freelance、uh, journalists are、uh, alarming to the Japanese people too. So,、uh, so of c- but、um, then there are people that I think,、um, you know, you should be consider、uh, more for your. Not eating too much sugar than stuff, too. So, that's there's、uh, also the balance of the being healthy, too. <laughs> trans、uh, fat, yeah, trans fat. You shouldn't you shouldn't be eating too much curry. No trans fat, yeah. You should, there's no eat- trans fat in curry. Oh, well, um, too much <laughs> sodium, uh, sodium for a blood pressure, yeah. I think I might have a high blood pressure then. I have low blood pressure, so I can eat as much curry as I want. Oh, good. <laughs> By the way, I just ate curry this lunch. <laughs> All right. I had school lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so, Emil from、uh, on the page as well. I will be moving to Japan at the end of July. Congratulations, Emil. I actually, actually、uh, I, it's better you would have tell me where, which, which region, but、uh, I don't know. I understand you only want traveler to ask questions, but I simply want to know if there are any precautions I should be taking while over there. For example, don't eat seafood, etc. 
Um, I would say anything that there's probably nothing that you can do to minimize it more than it already is. Yeah, yeah that's true. The, don't start. Don't go. Don't go within twenty kilometers of Fukushima and start eating the soil or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think in, in coming to Japan, living in Japan, um, just become more educated around exactly what is radiation and exactly what is bad levels of radiation. Um, because this is something that's often talked about, but it's never really said how much. So I think the more people know about the kind of degree of, of, of how bad you know, bad radiation could be compared to normal radiation, then I think that's the best way to um, understand the risks when you're in the country. Mm, okay. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it, at the end, it's, it's, it is your kind of responsibility, but... Uh, um, yeah, but... Um, uh, actually, uh, in terms of food, there, it was a food poisoning of the raw meat mm. at the barbecue. Mm. So, so in Japan, there's no. Uh, this is completely different from the radiation. Mm, this, this is, is just bad meat. Yeah, meat. yeah. This is completely. This is completely different from the Fukushima radiation. But actually, one of the top news a couple of weeks ago was. Um, because uh, we actually Japanese people start loving Korean food, and then the, also we we all, we love beef, uh, and then Korean. we imported we imported only one sp specific region of the Korean food. It's called yuke, which is the uh, raw meat from beef, and then some of the uh, um, uh, those raw meat actually cooked potentially cause deadly O157 food poisoning so uh, um, so but you know so don't try to eat raw meat raw beef meat you always want to cook even though they're delicious and I love those raw meat personally too I you know I, I had some raw meat too but <laughs> go uh, oh my yeah it's like risk so so um, and then actually it's going to be hotter in Japan so so um, in in addition to the radiation you we actually have to worry about the food poisoning too in overall because it's gonna be humid and warm so so that's that's um, um, that's um, that's that's one of the uh, but but in terms of the Fukushima radiation uh, uh, I will try to I will monitor all the information and then I will try to give you the update from this weekly weekly show but for now um, none of the food that's on the market are like dangerous and then um, they, they, but actually, unfortunately, there are some supermarket who mistakenly distributed a little bit contaminated uh, vegetable on the market in Tokyo once uh, from last, last month's report that's also included in the uh, one of the uh, uh, weekly update that I, pro I gave out. But, um, um, but if you eat that kind of the uh, radioactive contaminated vegetable it's going to be like like couple hundred becquerel per kilogram so it's like 0, 0.00 something microsiever of the uh, radiation which is much less than taking a flight international flight so um, um, but of course, uh, you know. Uh, the, but still, you know. Of course, the, it doesn't mean that uh, it's better without the radiation. Of course, but uh, yeah, I mean, we could talk know, about this for hours. For hours, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. And yeah. Scientists already do. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's why it's yeah good idea if you're coming to Japan, especially to live. Just educate yourself. What is harmful? But for, for actually, somebody, that's a difficult question. <laughs> mm. -hmm. But for, for somebody coming to Japan and living in Japan especially, um, 
one thing I would say would be good to put yourself in a state of preparedness is to understand what are emergency procedures in case of an earthquake. And cats, like you said, we don't know where this guy asking the question comes from, or is going to live, sorry. Uh, but as someone who comes from a country that does not have earthquakes, uh, one of the first mm. things I thought was, okay, uh, I would have no idea what to do if an earthquake happened. I'd probably grab my camera and run outside or something. So uh, I'd say get educated on what to do in case of emergency because it could be very different from where you come from. Yeah. Um, I from yokosunews.com there's a there's a page called earthquake 101 you can search from the google like search on the google like yokoso news earthquake 101 or something you can there's a there's a guide of what you should prepare at least the least thing you should prepare in case of the disaster in the earthquake and then Yokoso News is committed to uh, provide those uh, information though but um, so anyway next uh, question from now we are going to the uh, Facebook uh, you can like us Yokoso News on the Facebook please like you, us also. you can become person number 2975 <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, uh, Dean, do you have your um, Facebook page? Uh, I don't have one for Japan Travel Mate. Okay, but I'm, I'm planning that when I hit 200 Twitter followers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to make, make it a bit useful for people. So when there's only one or two people, it might not be that handy. <laughs> okay. So, so everyone, make sure you follow his Twitter account if you have one, and get him 200 Twitter follower. Yes. So make him, uh, make him, uh, make him work harder, or something. Unfortunately, uh, I'm living in the 1990s, and I don't use Twitter. Oh. <laughs> okay. The sign up already. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Anyway. I'm so, spending all my energy on curry. You should be happy. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. So, so uh, yeah, also you can, don't forget to follow us at Yokos News on Twitter too. But anyway, uh, so from the Facebook, I have a Laurent. Um, I have it from Laurent. I don't wish to take advantage of the disaster, but I do wish going to Japan could... I, but I wish... I do I wish do going wish to, to Japan could be less expensive. Plane ticket, ouch, yeah. Especially the um, fuel surcharge. Yeah, where does he say where he's traveling from? I don't know. Um, Check his uh, Facebook page. Um, <laughs> stalk. Yeah, let's... Stalk, stalk, stalk. I, he's, uh, he does, he's not, he didn't, he didn't make his location to the public, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, darn it. What's but, his, what does the email say? <laughs> no, no, he, no, it's a Facebook page. Yeah, but, but um, dot .com, dot .fr, or what? <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't know. I, he he didn't disclose that. Anyway, so so um, yeah, fuel surcharge is unfortunately it's out of Japan's control because most of the uh, fuel surcharge is the uh, um, from coming from the Middle East and stuff. So we kind of have to beg them to lower the price. <laughs> Us. So we can, now we are going to demand on more fuel uh, oil of uh, generating the power. So we actually need to buy more uh, liquid gas and stuff too. So it's uh, it's uh, demand of those uh, liquid fuel uh, uh, what fuel cells. Yeah, yeah, fossil 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 fuel. Like uh, oil, uh, uh, oil char charcoal, and I mean those those kind of stuff. But there's a story this month: solar power airplane completes first international flight. Hmm. What? <laughs> um, well, maybe he could find a cheaper flight on the solar powered airplane. Mm. Probably not though. <laughs> um, but I, I know what Laurent. What's his name? Laurent. Yes. Um, Laurent. 
So I know uh, what he means when he says, I don't want to take advantage of the situation. Yeah. Uh, I had a few people ask me um, shortly after the disaster when I was in Australia, and they asked me, oh, so are you going to get cheaper flights to Japan now that nobody is going there? And um, I think that is um, probably a bit naive in saying that, but uh, it's, it, it is a little bit costly to come to Japan. The, the cheapest that I've flown here was on a budget airline from Australia, and it was about uh, 500 and something dollars Australian return. Uh, and that was on a bit of a special, but for me to get here this time, uh, I flew on a somewhat decent airline via Singapore to Nagoya for uh, $900. And the cheapest was with some less safer, less reputable airlines for about $600. So I'd say... That's if Australian dollar or...? Oh, sorry, I'm speaking Australian dollars. Okay. So it's roughly about the same as US dollars. Okay, okay. One um, Australian dollar is one dollar and six cents. Okay. Wow, it's okay. Getting up there. So if <laughs> if you're traveling to Japan and back again on a return flight, uh, you you should be prepared to pay about a thousand dollars return, depending on where you're coming from. Obviously. Yeah, and actually, I if you are going to purchase a ticket in Japan, starting June tomorrow, uh, it's more likely they're going to add more fuel surcharge. <laughs> so Thanks for the warning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you kind of, you kind of should have. I just did the research. You kind of should have bought the ticket today. Did you buy your LA ticket yet? No, I, I think I'm started to think about to cancel because. Uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna make an announcement too later on. But I'm going to be coming to Kawasaki. Yeah, I heard that already. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to spend the money to tr try to go to volunteer in the north and stuff too. But I'm going to be in Kawasaki that day too. Oh, why? For the same reason you are. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> April, uh, April, when you, whenever you're ready to jump in, you could jump in too. But um, uh, April said it is cheaper now. Last night, talked to flight attendants from other airlines. Price down. But um, I think uh, some of the airline company were plan planning to get the uh, more fuel searchers. So it could be, uh, yeah, it could be same. Hey, Nuriko Sankis, what's up? Hey, Mari, and then y Yai Shang, and what's up? Sorry. And then, so let's go to the next question. Given that my friends live in Tokyo, also have a home in Nasu, and I speak with them almost daily. I have absolutely no fear of traveling. The only thing that would make me concerned would be if there is another large quake in December, generally, as I will be traveling there in January. But having said that, if my friend can go through what you all went through in March and subsequently after what with aftershock and radiation threat, I should be okay. I just want to. I just want to uh, sightseeing Ikari. Oh, thank you. And run rubbish and shop against around the Japanese beauty, uh, politeness, and the order. Let's be honest, I could live there very easily. Tanya. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. Um, uh, I, have a, I have a similar comment from a friend of mine who lives in Tokyo. Uh. <laughs> he is a, a guy I used to work with in Australia. He's been living in Tokyo for. A long time now but um, what he's been saying is yes it it was pretty scary during the first few weeks uh -huh. uh, not knowing when the next quake would come or what was really going on with the nuclear disaster um, but since then and this was a comment I got from him a while ago a few weeks ago now he said life has since returned to normal um, no noticeable quakes, the, the food and water are, are back on the shelves again like normal. Uh, everything else is back to normal and the only thing that is not normal is that uh, Tokyo is probably somewhat more subdued now uh, 
conserving and power. And lights are off. Yeah, con con subdued it to uh, conserving power and maybe not so many foreigners walking the streets. So it's probably a really good time to come. It's <laughs> not as busy as it, as it usually is. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, actually, I went to uh, I went to the uh, Yamada Denki, one of the electric uh, appliance store, to buy like um, my new phone battery and stuff. But I, and then I I went to the cashier, and then they were they didn't turn the lights on where the cashier is, and then one the middle aged lady was having a hard time because she she couldn't see like without the lights. No. And um, then they had only one like L LED lights on the stand. So uh, I need uh, some torches about or something for the heart of sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's. Oh, I mean, I, in the there were so kind of longer line because people were waiting because she she typed slow because she couldn't see stuff. So I kind of felt sorry for that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, so, um, yes, uh, so that's actually could be, could be bad though, you know, maybe because Japan was using so much electricity before, that's why, that's why maybe it was safer because everyone was, everywhere was kind of bright in the city. <laughs> so. That's a good, good travel tip. Keep, keep your eyes open. Could yeah. be done. One more yeah. point this summer, dangerous thing from the saving power. Yeah. is the air conditioners that we're not supposed to use them below 28 degrees Celsius which for me is like the middle of hell but <laughs> well uh, you use with your fan buy buy the fan and use it I have a your... fan just keep fan on I mean that's what I'm going to do I actually have to fan these uh, laptop during the summer even though and I have a air condition on so last year 200 elderly people died of heat stroke. Yeah, but this I can't year, yeah, imagine what it's going to be this year. But when this year, are... yeah, according to the uh, long-term weather forecast, it's not going to be as hot as last year. But it's go, it's still going to be hot uh, and humid, and my clothes are gonna mold. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> It's okay. We we'll do. We'll shape up and we'll do. We we'll go to the beach and we'll do some kind of some live cast at the beach or something. Well, in <laughs> in Australia, the stroke heat deaths are much worse, and our population is far less. Hmm. Far less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, okay, but uh, anyway, so going back to Tanya, Tanya's the comment about the uh, if there's a large quake in December, January, of course, no one wants to experience a large quake when you're traveling, especially in a foreign country. So, but um, I actually going to give you a um, note. You know, the the re the, so recently. Yeah, uh, Prime Minister Naoto Kan ordered to shut down the uh, Hamaoka nuclear power plant in Shizuoka uh, because because that uh, many scientists believe that uh, we will be experiencing large earthquake within 30 years. Uh, the chance uh, chances are 87 percent. So. Um, and then in the past history, if something big earthquake happened in North Japan, it will affect to the uh, it will affect to the uh, um, Japan. So uh, uh, trigger effect. Yeah, trigger effect could happen. So in history, actually repeat too. So. It could that talk it's called Tokai earthquake. It's going to happen around Shizuoka, center of the Shizuoka, and it could trigger to Nankai earthquake. Samo Samo the the history actually had the uh, Tokai earthquake and Nankai earthquake happen, which is from uh, Shizuoka, Aichi, Mie, Wakayama. Um, Shiko, uh, Kochi and uh, to the Kyushu area. So uh, we actually had that 
earthquake 2,000 years ago. So, so, um, um, uh, so, so, uh, it, within 30 years, Tokai earthquake could happen, and then within 30 years, that Tokai earthquake could also uh, trigger the uh, Nankai earthquake, and then it could, um, it could, uh, like cause the another 9.0 earthquake. So, um, um yeah so so within 30 years so that december january is also included in that within 30 year range yeah. of the 87 percent so so uh um yeah so uh it, it's always going to be a risk coming coming to any seismically active area yeah uh but like you say 30 years it's hard to pinpoint exactly when, so yeah. uh, just be safe and, and know what to do. Read read your Earthquake 101 page yeah. before you come to Japan <laughs> and know what to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then not only the Earthquake, we have a typhoon. We just had a typhoon a couple of days ago. I had to freaking cancel the live cat show with uh -huh. a high school girl, singer. Bummer. But, um, you know then a typhoon wasn't that bad in my region although it did cause some damage to the southern japan okinawa kyushu shikoku and fukui actually north part of japan too but um yeah so so uh i mean you know um did anyone get injured from the typhoon yeah two people mm, dead dead no uh one one person Huh? Okinawa? Uh, you know, it was it was a couple days ago, and I'm not that journalist, so oh, I if I got, but one went fishing, mm. and they got swapped away by big wave, and I don't understand why they went fishing under the weather, but someone wants to go fishing under the typhoon, I guess. And then one person got stuck in a tunnel. And uh, in a what? Tunnel of the road. Oh, I thought uh, you said flooding. tunnel. <laughs> no, 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 tunnel of tunnel. the flood tunnel of the uh, flooded road. And then um, so uh, yeah, so two casualty from the typhoon and some injured uh, as well. And then some landslide. Some are flooding and uh, some houses got destroyed, uh, blew, blew by the wind, and especially in Okinawa and stuff. Too. So it did cause some damage, but it didn't cause much damage in my region, although it was kind of windy. And so that's the reason why we cancel. But the, by the time of the, the live cast time, it was kind of calm and quiet. Bummer. But uh, it's good to be prepared. So. That's why we had to ca we did decide to cancel the live cast. So anyway, so uh, do you have any question, uh, Dean? Mm, I have some questions for you, cats, and okay. perhaps uh, Jim could step in too if he wants to to answer some. So uh, I just thought I'd ask a few questions, which could hopefully reveal some things to do for people who would like to travel to Japan. Okay. Things that perhaps are, aren't that well known. And I think these are probably some of the best things to do in Japan. So uh, one of my first questions is just, what is your favorite thing to do in your spare time in Japan in terms of visiting or traveling? Uh, eating curry. <laughs> traditional Japanese curry? Uh, yeah, They're not. Tr I mean, I don't. I don't know what's traditional because <laughs> Japanese curry were imported from the UK like hundred years ago. So only hundred years of the history. So of the Japanese curry, I don't think it's traditional. But um, well, uh, seriously, the spare time, um, I don't know what is. When I ever had a spare time <laughs> in the uh, last couple of months. Yeah. So, so what, what curry would you recommend to people traveling? Well, just, just go to those 
try to find the hidden spot. Try to find the picture of the curry and go into like going to meet some、uh, middle age or you know、uh, ladies、uh, curry shop and try their curry. Like nothing fancy. So、yes. that's, that's kind of what, you know, not only curry, like maybe, I mean, I, I love going to non chain store.、Mm. Um, so I love going to a bar, private owned bar. I love going to a private coffee shop.、Mm. So, so uh, um, then I used to read a lot,、uh, but、uh, since I started the Yokos News, I no longer have time for it. Um, uh, so, uh, that's, one of the, that's one of the things I always told my friends traveling Japan is find those little bars, they seat perhaps. Five or six people downstairs, if they're upstairs, maybe ten people.、Yeah. Find those little bars, just try some little snacks, a bit of okonomiyaki, a bit of tapu,、oh、and gyoza. And oh my god. Have a beer or two. It's probably one of the ways to, to see the, the traditional Japan. So definitely stay away from the chain stores. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Go Especially、meet. the curry chain stores. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> curry chain store, yeah, I mean, you, that curry chain store is kind of acceptable. But anyway,、um, so, so uh, um, yeah, just even like go to the shrine, go to the temple, even, <laughs> even though. Do you, do you live in Kawasaki? Uh, I live in Aichi across the bay from Kawasaki. Toyota. I thought so because it says Kawasaki in his banner. Hi, in my banner. In the、What? banner that Katz keeps throwing up there, it says、uh, Dean from Kawasaki. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm shish kabat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, ah, because I was going to say that's perfect because you know, every year, the first Sunday of April in Kawasaki, there's a very, very special festival that I talked about、uh, last month. Do you remember what it is, Katz? Oh, I don't even want to mention it. That's not, <laughs> that's not appropriate. I think I know the festival b e t t e Oh, you do?、Uh, the Shinto Fertility Festival? Yeah, yeah, one of those.、Oh, uh, that... That's, that's、uh, we, 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 we are talking about the safety. We are talking about the.、Uh, I、Trump. mean. You said a traditional Japan. <laughs> Well, that's, that's another great thing to do is find those festivals. Find those local festivals. They are great fun. Great fun. Especially around springtime.、Um, maybe not the festival. Oh, yeah, maybe the festival you guys are talking about. <laughs> But Japan has. I guess that's why a lot of people come to Japan is the, the culture and the traditions. So, one of the best ways to experience those traditions is find. A local festival, just try and find out what the time of year is. Like springtime, you have Golden Week and Hanami, and just try and find the local festivals and experience Japan with some locals. And in June, you have rain.、Mm. Rain and more rain.、Mm. Yeah, yeah. So June could be kind of boring month.、Mm. Mm. But the、uh, rainy season started. Yeah. 12 days early this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, last, compared to last year, and a couple, it just a couple days earlier or something, but、uh, yeah, rainy season has begun. So. so, if you're planning on coming to Japan, save up your money and visit in July. But more expensive air ticket, though. That's why、uh, July,、yeah. June is the cheapest. Ah.、Uh, flight ticket in June and February are the The, those cheapest, cheapest months of、yeah. the year. So, you could,、uh, if you don't mind traveling in Japan and go, rather than going to outdoor, you could go to the indoor enter, entertainment, then you could come to Japan,、mm-hmm. and then you could be lucky to be、uh, sun, you know, sun or, you know, or the winter in February or something.、Yeah. But,、um, Japan is well set up for the rainy season, so it's not uncomfortable.、Uh, so, well, well, it depends on the people's preference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, some, I mean, if, 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 if you don't like the weather, you don't like the weather. So, yeah. 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 But, but,、um, 
So someone's echoing. Uh, uh, I think something uh, to. It's okay. Uh, yeah. So so oh. let's go back to um um. Uh, let's go back to uh, uh, Facebook question. Ooh, more comments. And my daughter is coming to visit Japan this summer. Thinks there goes fine to see wonderful, beautiful land. Pivy. Cool. Barbara, my daughter and I just spent an unforgettable two weeks traveling in Japan from May 3rd to 19th with my son, who is a jet in Japan. Ooh. We found I was no. I crying out loud. <laughs> huh? I'm so jealous of jets because of their high salary. Oh. Good. <laughs> okay. We found no reason for concern of any kind and will return in a heartbeat. In the, in the heartbeat. Unbelievably gorgeous landscape, gra gracious people, wonderful food, beautiful temple, cities, and other sites. I definitely recommend travel to Japan. Barbara, thank you. Actually, I was waiting for some criticism or, you know, um, like s some comment, but I kind of. I kinda, I kinda, I kinda get only a good comments. Uh, I, I, can someone make some criticism? <laughs> um, Jana, I still want to go. It's the money keeping me home. Yeah, money sounds problem. I, I have a problem with money too. Mm, me too. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, get here and you'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could travel cheap too. For example, you can stay my house in your car. <laughs> <laughs> but only if you bring a bottle of tequila, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and curry. Yeah. Yeah, Gary, just coming back from a week in Japan, stayed in Kyoto, but visited Hiroshima, Osaka, and Tokyo. Japan is open for business and wants you to visit. Don't postpone or cancel your plans. It is as, as safe as anywhere else in the world. Thank you, Gary. Uh... I mean, I mean, you know, you, you still, I still, I mean, I would still say Fukushima is dangerous and people are criticizing, like, government mishandling. It's taking super long time, so, so, but besides Fukushima, uh, everybody is monitoring the radiation levels, uh, Ministry of Education and Science uh, uh, giving out the radiation reading every day. And then, so, uh, um, and I'm trying to give you the weekly update. So, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it is safe. So, but, but it is safe, the rest of the uh, Japan, besides... Mm. Fukushima right yeah, now and, and where Gary said he traveled to there's some really popular really good places to travel that are nowhere near any affected area yeah Hiroshima uh, mm. Kyoto Hiroshima Osaka uh, Tokyo is kind of closer but uh, mm. you know uh, so thank you Gary Jessica spent a week in Kyoto and the only difference from all other times I went there was that this time I was the only person <laughs> in my hotel. Ooh. The owner had so many foreigners canceling on him. He asked me to write out a form letter he could use. <laughs> Nobody has a clue about the uh, geography of Japan. Mm. And most people seem to think Fukushima is the same place as... Uh, Fuku most people seem to think Fukuoka is the same place as Fukushima. Uh, opposite yeah. direction. Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, um, I know that when the 9 11 happened, you know, people stopped, Japanese people stopped coming to LA to study English. Mm. So I, ha I was in and out, going in and out English school and, you know, meets, you know, like I became friends of some of the teacher and start hanging out there. So, uh, but, um, um, so, you know, it's, if you are in uh, abroad, this is the uh, destiny that uh, um, you kind of make a mistake. So, is it New York, uh, New York, or is it York in London, or is it Long Beach in New York, or Long Beach in California, or something? So, um, but, um, Long yeah. Island. Long Long Island is in New York. No, Long Beach. I said Long, Long Beach, Beach is in LA and Long Island is in New York. No, there's a there's a place called Long Beach too. 
in the East Coast. Shut up. No, there's not. Let me there, check. There is. <laughs> there is. I, I, I'm from New York. I should know that. <laughs> Uh, because I I went to Long Beach, so I, it's the the Google Map came up with some other place in Long Beach. Oh, where is this? <laughs> so I I need Long Beach Airport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of confusion comes from the way that oh, here it is that, that everything's reported overseas. Like when I was leaving Australia, the news was Japan disaster. It wasn't Fukushima disaster. So. Um, people would get that misconception about where where things are happening. And we had some American magazines that had pictures that we, what looked like the aftermath of a total global nuclear war and like a skull and nuclear disaster in Japan. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a whole country when it's portrayed like that. Well, I mean, you know, if uh, Egypt is facing that right now too, Egypt is uh, one of the main industry of Egypt is the tourism industry tourism but the, because of the uh, uh, conflict in Egypt uh, they lost so many travelers there too but conflict is kind of over although there is still demonstration going on so mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know NHK was showing that uh, Egypt is open for tourism so so you know how how many people would think that peop you want to go to Egypt right right now after seeing all those images after seeing all those hundred people die from the conflict but um, I think uh, Egypt is now open for you know uh, according to e Egyptian government Egypt is open for tourism so uh, and they need money so uh, you also could consider I want to go to Egypt too yeah. It's close now. Yeah. <laughs> From so, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, well, no, it, it's, it's actually same, same, uh, same distance because I don't know. But mm -hmm. Thomas, uh, I plan to go back. Thank you. Liana, Liana, me and Ani, Anisha was there from December 2010 to March. March. March, <laughs> to, Mac. March 2011. Love Nippon. Nice people. Food. Nato. Green, Not <laughs> TV, Ampaman, transportation, yeah. fast internet, blue sky, Yokohama, <laughs> miss you, Ned. Okay, thank you. Ah, um, that reminds me. Here, you want a criticism of Japan? They have fast internet, but they have super, super slow internet installation. Uh, oh, it takes, it, it takes like a whole month. I can't believe it. Installation, yeah, installation is kind of suck. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, Tanya, I let you read one of your comments. I'm gonna skip. I'm sorry. Uh, Kati, Katie, Katie, yeah. I don't know, Katie. I'll spend almost my whole summer holiday in August in Japan, and I can't wait. Uh, I don't know where you're going to, but have fun. Oh, um, that's good. Nicholas, I have just passed one month. In Japan, and it was really extraordinary. I have only an MB back in Japan. Uh, mm, hmm. Cool, Nicholas. So you, you just spent a month in Japan. So Sylvia, we, what's up? We're still not hearing any criticisms. Yeah, it's kind. Oh. It's kind of. Um, I would go back to, and Sylvia. But Tanabe, I would go back to Japan anytime in a flash and plan to soon. It's the Furusato of my heart. Uh, Sylvia Watanabe, thank you from the East Coast. Uh, she's uh, working for college or something. She emailed me about the uh, uh, stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Dean, do you have any criticism? Any criticism? Yeah. Cool, that's... I'm trying to Dean's think still in his honeymoon phase. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been here for two months and... I, I haven't travelled north of Aichi yet. I've travelled uh. south of here, but um, not north yet. And no criticisms, but... I've talked to a lot of people. A uh, girl I know in Ibaraki, people I know in Osaka, and people I know in Tokyo, and... They have no criticisms either, so kind of grasping 
grasping for something. A slow internet connection if you are moving here. I didn't like that. Internet but, installation, you mean? Yeah, so, yeah, internet, the internet installation kind yeah. of took a while, but I got very friendly with the people at my local internet cafe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Here, let me... One thing you must try if you come to Japan is go to one of the large internet cafes. It's just something that you cannot experience in, in Australia or I would think other countries as well, like multi-story internet cafes that you could basically live in. Very you can. You can stay in them overnight. Yeah, yeah. You, if uh, you are the budget traveler, you could also try to stay at the internet cafe too. Oh, that's a great travel tip. Yeah. Just well, six hours and have a have a nap on one of the comfy chairs. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's there's ones with like, uh, like sofa style seating in them. Yeah, mm. and recline, so that you, almost like a bed. So. But, yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. So you could um, you then pay like. Four or five thousand yen, and all you can drink, and then food is you have to pay, but all you can drink. All the internet you can take. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you all manga book. All the manga read, you can read. <laughs> but no, I don't know if they have any English one, but we'll see. But so yeah, so that's the. Um, uh, but of, of course there are some cheap uh, old looking style Japanese style hotel too you can find and then youth hostel it's uh, getting popular in Japan oh, too and uh, on Dean's blog I looked at it earlier and he has an article about an Osaka capsule hotel oh, oh, I you... love that place <laughs> which, which one did you go? Asahi Plaza okay. in, in Dotenburi okay it was it has a kind of hot baths inside it actually is one of the few which has uh allows women on separate levels so it's a really good place to travel mm. yeah. if, if, you, if you want to be extra careful when you come to japan stay in a capsule hotel i want to go to that one now that i saw it on your website oh it's great it's <laughs> it's right in Dotenbury, so it's, if you want to find it click on best of japan at the top <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and Ryokan's, uh, is that what you meant, Cats, when you said traditional older style? Yeah, Ryokan, Ryokan, yeah. Ryokan. Mm. Oh, I want to stay there, too. Mm, I have trouble pronouncing the Ryo, Ryo. Ryo. Everyone does. Ryokan, Ryokan. Ryo, Ryo. Ryo, Ryo. Ryo, Ryo. Ryo, Ryokan. They are, Ryo they are cheap, and they are great places to stay at. Really traditional and really good experience i haven't been staying at the ryokan and i actually i never i never slept in a capsule hotel oh really yeah because yeah. uh i have all the heavy equipment with the suitcase uh, mm. so but uh, i usually i usually um yeah i yeah. kind of have to stay at the yeah. regular hotel because i have a big suitcase mm. but i uh, stayed at an onsen hotel once wow uh, it was, uh, ironically in Fukushima. It was in Fukushima last year. Oh. Cool. I'd, I'd love to find a, a ryokan onsen that has a um, natural private bath. That would be amazing. Oh, actually, uh. one thing I've discovered uh, just recently looking for um, just travel news in general about Japan, there is the oldest hotel in the world is in Yamanashi and uh, it was I think in February this year it was recognized by the Guinness, the Guinness World Records as being the oldest hotel in Japan oh, in the world sorry and it was established in 705 I think it's a huge ryokan and they were trying to get they are trying to get another world record by creating I think it's the onsen with the fastest flowing water. <laughs> so they dug a massive hole, something ridiculous, like 800 feet down. I forget the exact numbers, but a huge amount of water flowing through every minute. And they're experiencing far less uh, visitors than they usually do every month, especially after getting this Guinness World Record. So. That would be a great place to travel to. I think Yamanashi is near... Mount it's Ch right next to Saitama. Yeah, it's oh, like okay. in between Saitama, Tokyo and Nagano. 
It's to the left of Saitama and it's Tokyo. North side of Mount Fuji. Uh, it, yeah, it shares so. a border with Tokyo and Saitama. Yeah. Sure. So close to Tokyo, that's somewhere I'm definitely going to check out very, very soon. Everyone traveling to Japan should go there. Cool. cool. Um, so, uh, uh, I, I kind of missed the social timeline. Uh, sounds. Satsumatsu, hey, and then uh, there, Dean. There's a lot of side that could help you. Okay, hey, Harry Kobayer, what's up to Hawaii? And then Nuruko, you okay? And then Harry Kobayer, Long Beach, New York, in Nassau County, one of Long Island's two cities. Yes, see. <laughs> See Jim. Wait, what? <laughs> See, Long Beach is in New York too. I know. I found it, and shit. <laughs> I mean, shish kebab. Shish kebab. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ha- ha- Harry Kovier, and then um, posted the link. Thank you very much, Harry Kovier. Oh, the social stream froze for me 25 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right, cool. So, um, I, I. W- I wanted to talk about no holes work, you know, stuff uh, about the uh, travel in Japan. One of the uh, one of the criticism is that uh, I have to the Japanese um, travel industry is that uh, um, they need to they need to speak out more to spread the information in English. Even they they cannot really speak English well. Even even the broken English, um, I you know. Uh, they they should speak out about the uh, situation. They you know Japanese people is that um, um, Japanese people think that we kind of have to speak perfect English, and even though it's some some of them can understand English and some of them can can speak uh, very basic English, but they are hesitant to uh, speak out. It's kind of hit and miss when you're traveling. Uh, some people like working at train stations or hotels are very fluent and some are not but I think like you said cats hesitant yeah I think there are a lot of people who can speak really good English but just quite shy uh-huh. <laughs> so so that's that's actually uh, um, and then people are afraid of like not coming out because we are our virtue is being quiet so being quiet is our virtue be patient is our uh, virtue so because so even even we are fine we tend to be quiet like me i'm also a quiet person (laughs) when when i'm when i'm speaking japanese and you're not on the radio uh, I guess not, <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I am I am a shy, quiet person, especially to our girls. Uh, <laughs> you made me groan. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm serious, man. I'm serious, man. I'm always like one step behind. Everything. I'm never shy in almost any situation. Okay. The only situation I'm shy in is work. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I'm. You, you're gonna have to teach me. Just Jim. stop caring about anything. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, I guess. I guess I. So. I guess I. I will then. All right. So anyway. Um. So that's the criticism I have to. Um. That. Um. We should. Disclose as much information as possible from Japanese people should disclose as much information as possible um, then actually also we are not used to marketing because of this um, um, uh, because of this so so uh, we are also not really we Many many Japanese people don't really know how to express and scared if if they make a mistake. So so it's, yeah, but unless you make a 
mistake, you learn from the mistake, you won't be able to become a better person, better <laughs> marketing person, I think. So,、uh, um, you need to give a lecture at Japanese schools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But、uh, yeah, so, so uh, uh, that's the one criticism.、Uh, because,、uh, you know, I, I, I did, I'm the living, li- kind of living proof that you know, I try to give you, I mean, I'm, I, with Emma, Sarah,、um, Secret Paul, and then other people. With the Skype, first month of the disaster, I try to give you as much information as possible as long as I'm awake. I was awake, and then, you know,、uh, of course, some people decided to cancel to come to Japan, some people decided to postpone, but some people did come to Japan by, because I was giving away the sufficient information. So,、uh, That's, that's, I think that's the one criticism. And then also,、uh, um, yes, there is freelance journalist crit- criticizing the situation and then、uh, independent journalist too. So I really want to bring that out to the people as much as possible. But、uh, lack of the resources, man, lack of the resources. But、uh, yeah, anyway, so、uh, that's the, the first section of the traveling in Japan. Thank you very much, Dean. Great, thanks for having me on. And、um, yeah, look forward to talking to you guys in the future. Yeah, I mean,、uh, you should come back, man, Dean. Like, yeah, to definitely. Talk about and, the,、uh, uh, yeah. When are you guys going to live cast? <laughs> oh, well, maybe on the next trip to Nagoya. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we, 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 should,、uh, we should meet up, man. And then, actually, next,、uh, next Sunday, I'm gonna try to go to this、uh, weird cafe. <laughs> Where? In、uh, the, the cafe called Mountain. Oh, interesting. And, Mountain. Yeah, so people go, people, the, the, their, their keyword, I mean, their, their, like,、uh, their catchphrase is like, let's go climb mountain. <laughs> If you were able to eat their sweet, for example, matcha cream pasta.、Hmm. Sounds、uh, kind of good. Huh? Sounds kind of good. Really? Yeah. That's a dessert? Pasta? Yeah, pasta on, I mean, cream, matcha cream on pasta. Well. So warm, sweet. What's the difference between pasta and like mochi or something? But, and yeah, so, so anyway, I'm, I'm planning to go there this Sunday to try. I mean, I won't be live casting, but.、Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, April has a message. Yeah, come to the concert. I know, April. Are you ready to be on, on the Skype?、Um, so, so um, yeah, um, yeah, we could. Uh, so, uh, Yoko's News. Uh, and japantravelmate.com may do more stuff together.、Ooh. So、uh, don't forget to follow japantravelmate.com on the Twitter as well as Yokos News on Twitter and like us on the Facebook. But uh, uh, make sure you follow japantravelmate.com so that uh,、um, you know. Um, that uh, uh, he can start the Facebook page. Yes, yes. And you see a, a lot of different content on Twitter as well. Some Twitter exclusive content. So、uh, cool. check it out. <laughs> cool. I have one comment. I was looking at Dean's blog today and I saw a whole page dedicated to Ye- Ebby's beer. <laughs> oh, yeah.、Cool. And. I also love Ebby Spear, so I was very happy to read that article. And after I read it, I went straight out to 7 Eleven and bought a can. <laughs> <laughs> I should be getting royalties from these guys. <laughs> I, bought some, I bought a pack of Senbei and some Ebby s Oh my god. So, that followed、uh, a good day of beer reviewing, so it was.、Yeah. Oh. Comprehensive beer review. You know what? Yeah, maybe we should. One of the day, you should. you, I should 
you can you can come to my place or I, I I could go to your place and then we just review all kinds of beer like we buy all kinds of Japanese beer and then we review it yeah that sounds great we should get some seasonal local seasonal beers and yeah and try some specialties oh my god sounds sounds very drunk <laughs> but uh, yeah. sounds very fun yes yes we well, just have to make sure that uh, we just gonna make it ready r for that mm, show mm. <laughs> no no under 18 are allowed to watch that show to just just in case sure so well r is okay for under 17 you know oh okay yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> okay Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Katz, and we'll um, we'll hook up offline and yeah, see what happens next. Cool. Sounds good. But if you rate it R, you won't be able to broadcast it in Australia. Oh wait, no, you will. That's just video games. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> locked out on that one. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, Dean. Okay. Thank you. I'll speak to you later. All right. Okay. See you. Thank you. All right. It has been Dean. From uh, uh, JapanTravelMate.com. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow him at Japan, JapanTravel.com. And now we have April Parkinson. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. big echo. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. This April. Time Kawasaki is correct. <laughs> April, what's up? April, wait, what's wait, up? wait, 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 I have a huge delay. Uh, no, no, no. You should turn off your Ustream. Yeah. It is off. Okay. What Ustream? Uh, all right. Oh, anyway. she's not watching. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody, hold on. <laughs> what? What? Anyway, so, so, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead then. So, um, April and I, Yokosu News, are doing some stuff called uh, Music for Charity for Miyagi. Uh, it's coming in July 7th. I just made this website July called 7th? lanternmusic.net. I just spent 10 hours last night without almost no sleep and then uh, it's going to be held at the Kawasaki Sangyo Shinko Kaikan oh, July 3rd. on July 3rd and then uh, it starts it's Sunday afternoon 2 p.m. with Curtis and Bruce the Japanese shamisen and duality with the solo uh, Australian solos and j- uh, jazz all girls jazz uh, jams and then guys jazz uh, band and then also hip-hop dance so all kinds of uh, uh, mixture of the world music and everything comes in and then yeah so uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's coming in so more information is going to be revealed in uh, next uh, couple weeks I think right April hi I'm so sorry about that it's okay so can you hear me yeah hi Jim Hello. Oh, sorry, Borden. <laughs> okay, I missed that whole blur, but nice website. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, no cool. So we'll we'll talk once we reveal more stuff, though. You know, so we're just gonna make it quick. So uh, just tell me like five minutes of what this event is all about. Um, this is a gathering of musicians and one hip hop dance group, which you can see the picture of right now, to uh, raise more money for the Miyagi citizens, uh, particularly the. Oh, oh my gosh, I just forgot the area. Ishinomaki. Oh, Nish- Ishinomaki area. And <laughs> sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> And to go and continue to help them with projects they have there, the citizens have projects, and to uh, go up and do more cooking events for them to give the other volunteers that are on regularly to feed them in the shelters, to give them a break. And we take barbecues up, Brazilian barbecues and musicians. And uh, right now we're also focusing on a way to cover the community meeting area, which is outside with a shelter that'll keep them out of the rain and out of the sun 
where when they go for food distribution or cooking events or government information there's no there's no inside place other than the school and there's so many people living in the school there are two schools in this area and there are so many students trying to study there that it's almost impossible to have meetings there they need a, one more area so they have a small little parking lot that's kind of a central meeting point but we want to cover that with something to keep them out of the sun and the rain while the seasons come and go. So it sounds silly, but it's really needed. And we went there three weeks ago, and we're still suffering from sunburn. All the volunteers are. It's very strong sun there. And the rainy season's coming, too. So we got all kinds of focuses, and we want to help the kids with school books and uh, etc. cetera. Cool. So when is the, when is the generics uh, of the event? Like July 3rd. Yeah. And it's on a su- Sunday afternoon here in Kawasaki, about seven minutes walk from Kawasaki Station, which you can find the location on the website. And uh, the tickets are ridiculously cheap. They're Sanzen Go Hakuen, 3,500 yen for four amazing bands. Isn't it and five? 3,500. Did no, I say four? Five, five bands. Five. You, you, ha- you, you have ah, one more. It's four five. bands oh. and one hip hop dance group. Oh, okay. And these hip hoppers are friends of all the musicians, and they've been hip hopping. Professionally for about 15 years, and they wanted to be part of the event because they're they they want to do something to draw in more people and support support what we're doing, and uh, so we've included them. So they're our 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 halftime show. <laughs> cool. And yeah, so and it's going to be an amazing show. There's all kinds of music. There's everything from traditional Japanese. With Koto and Shakahachi, which I think Katz just recorded one of the groups. Yeah. Bruce. And we have Australian musicians doing world music, and we have two jazz groups that have come together for this. It's just going to be an amazing afternoon. Really fun. So much energy, and for such a good reason. So, how can I, how can I purchase a ticket? Okay, you can contact lanternmusic.net or yokosonews.com. Uh, no, no, I haven't had the link yet, but okay, I will be able to. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, no, lanternmusic.com? No, no dot net. net. Lanternmusic.net. And then there's a, uh, there's a form on, at the bottom. Uh, you can fill it out. And that form is in the English and Japanese, so don't be nervous if you don't read Japanese. So,、uh, but this is for the、uh, people who can come to Kawasaki. So, more likely,、uh, you're gonna kind of try to organize the meetup and give you the ticket on the go. And also, you will have, you will be selling the ticket to some location. We will be posting more information at the music, lanternmusic.net. That's right. And don't worry, it's going to be very easy to get tickets. It won't be complicated. You don't, it won't be complicated like you have to go and do some serious、uh, ticket PIA or some event like that. It'll be easier than that. Okay. So we don't want that to make anybody hesitate to come. So come, come, come. We're going to have a fabulous time. Do you have to buy them in advance? Well, that would help us.、Um, but if. That would help us be ready because we can open up a second floor for this event. So, if we know how many are coming in general, then we, we know if we have to open up the mezzanine or not. We're hoping to open the entire place up. So,、um, anyway, it would help if they bought them in advance. That would help us. So,、mm. But if they, but that's、transfer. normal down in this area. That's normal here.、Okay. People. People carry, t- ooh, ooh, ooh. People carry tickets and、um, uh, uh, cats. I think somebody that's trying to call you is coming through to me. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, good. All right. Because I, I connected him. So. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's okay. So, anyway, but everybody can contact us if they can't pay in advance, but they want to reserve and they, if they promise me, promise me that they're coming. Because the, the thing is, is if you do tickets at the door, And we don't, we're not keeping a close track you know, of, of how many seats are still available. And we don't want to oversell and have people standing outside. And we don't want to undersell. So, 
Okay. Well, any anyway, so uh, if you could come, please, please, please buy the ticket in advance, and we will have more detailed information as we go. All right. Right. So, uh, you pay for it with a bank transfer. Oh, Jim, stop asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jim. It's all on site. No,、oh. actually, you can do a bank transfer. You can you can mail it to me another way. Don't worry about that. We have lots and lots of people all over in Tokyo, Yokohama, and Kawasaki that will meet up with you, take、mm. your money, and give you the ticket. That is not even a problem. Cool. All right. Cool. So,、uh, thank you very much,、uh, April. Maybe you want to stay in a little bit. Okay. To、uh, now. Let's go to、uh, Taka san from ibreezeiwaki.net. Actually, we just finished updating his website, ibreezeiwaki.net, in using the, uh, using the uh,、um, WordPress. <laughs> But、uh, Taka san. はい、こんばんは。こんばんは。こんばんは。タカさん、ジョニーナス、from いわき、福島。タカさん、is the professional videographer located in いわき、福島、which is uh, uh, about 50 kilometers southwest of、uh, 福島 nuclear power plant. So、uh, it's,、uh, I wanted to,、uh, タカさん was running this,、uh, I, the website called ibreezeiwaki.net. To、uh, get you informed about what is really happening in,、uh, in Iwaki in a civil, like, like uh, uh, everybody's perspective and stuff. So,、uh, Taka san, ja, so、uh, what do you have this week? Ja, kot, kot, konshu no report wa? Hi, eh, konshu wa ですね eh, to, America jin no, eh, on gakka no kata ga ですね So,、uh, actually, uh, April. Yes, sir. They are the.、Uh, <gasps> That's them! Kurt and That's Kurt and Bruce! Bruce, who、yeah. is actually going to be performed for the music of charity in July 3rd. It was kind of coincidence. So, he went up to.、Uh, Um, he went up to take some、uh, footage. which、I'm、Oh, that's、uh, amazing. Now, Bruce,、uh, Bruce is on the right side. He's the Shakuhachi player. Since, since, the sec,、uh, since about the, the fifth day of the, the, after the earthquake, he's been traveling up in that area, all over that area, playing. He just felt compelled to get up there the best way he could. The first time he went, he had to walk something like six miles. To just get inside some area that had a shelter. He just went kind of blind up there, but now he really understands how to go and he's taking Kurt with him. But that's a great story he's got.、Mm. So、uh, here we go. So, uh, uh, yeah.、Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I design, he, he and I design new logo for the i b r e e z e e w a k i Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> sugoi, sugoi. Do, これどこでしょうねこれはですね、えー、いわき市小川町というところにあります、詩人の、詩人の草の新兵記念館というところです。So, this is the、uh, Shijino Kusano Memorial、uh, Park in、uh, Iwaki, Fukushima. So, actually, you get the sneak peek of、uh, how he's go they're going to play at the music for charity. So, that's Shakuhachi, and he's playing. Sound. Oh, yeah, you,、uh, you have to imagine it. Yeah, well, <laughs> you... And that's Curtis. So, Curtis is, is, a, is a teacher in some of the private schools, international schools here, but he's considered one of the masters of the world. He has studied with some of the most、uh, 
famous teachers, not only here, but in some other countries as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what this thing what what this thing sounds like. Sorry, uh, the Skype. You, you, you won't be able to hear it, but I know it's what the really sounds exquisite. like. Really <laughs> exquisite. Well, the two of them, they have such a unique. I mean, they have a very traditional sound, but they also have their own sound. You'll hear their timbre, but they've been so trained. And, and they also are able to go into other genres. But with such skill and such ease, it's just brilliant. But they're very educated in the genre. Taka-san, comment on the genre. How was it? It was a little bit of 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 日本の方でもなかなか尺八とあのことをですねあの演奏できる方は少ないところがえこういったアメリカ人の方が演奏されているということにまずびっくりしました。Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, many many people, including the Taka san, also were surprised that the you know American uh, to to American musician who You know,、uh, study Japanese. That's them, Curtis and Bruce on the、uh, website.、Uh, them were able to play such、um, nice、um, mu- uh, you know, music and s- stuff. So,、uh, yeah, so cool. Then next、uh, we have interview. They, they answered the interview in Japanese, I think. So, Curtis.、Well, they both speak prolific Japanese. And they've been living here for maybe about 25 years each. Oof! Wow. So, t h e a r e a s t e a i n s o k a i d o m a r i a t o z a i m a s t a You can, tell that, you can tell that they're speaking Japanese just by the way that they move. Bruce Humana, this is Yokohama. Yeah. yeah, they're really good at that. Can you give me a little bit of the summary of the interview? まずあの自己紹介とあの普段の活動を教えてくださいということで、はい、質問しました、はいでえー、そうしましたらば、えーまあ、あの普段の学校の先生をやられていたりあとは、えー、音楽活動講演したりあの音楽活動ですねされている,いるということです。The, the, so, both of them are、uh, regularly teachers, English teachers, right, April? No, music teachers. Music t e a c h e r I'm sorry. Not, music... not English, I'm no. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's I'm, okay. I apologize. Yo, that's, that's good that I have someone, someone who knows them are on Skype call, and it's such a coincidence, right? And so, so they are the music teachers, and then they do perform like this. So, t h e n you can see it. ですね、あのー、2つ目にあのこの復興支援コンサートをされるに、えー、至ったいきさつを教えてくださいということで伺いましたはい7年ぐらい2人でユニットで、はいえー、そうしましたらばまずあのーえー、ブルースさんが、えー、福島県の川内村ですね、はいえー、こちらに非常にあのご縁があって、はいえー、福島県にはあのー、仲間とかうんえー、お友達が、まあ、たくさんいるということで、えー、今回の,、えー、じあの地震とか、えー、原発の問題を受けてなんとかこう今までお世話になった地域とかあ友達にお返しをしたいということで,でそれで、えー、カートさんと一緒に今、えー、活動してますので
2人でこういったツアーをやりたいということでされているようです。So, uh, uh, Bruce has a tight、uh, close relationship to Kawauchi Fukushima. So,、uh, he wanted to do something to、uh, um, return to the、uh, people of the Kawauchi. So, that's, how, that's why he brought Curtis to, to help this.、Uh, This concert this time. で、他には、はいでえーとですねあのー、ずブルーさ、えーね、んがもうあの何回か、えー、宮城とか、ね、福島の方においでになられてるんですけどもその震災直後にですねあの行ったようなんですけども。やはりその悲惨な状況の中で、えー、あるいはその音楽を奏で,い奏でられるような状況ではなかったので。So, first of all, as actually April also said a little bit too,、uh, Bruce tried to go to North Japan soon after the earthquake to try to ease the people in the North Japan, but、uh, the devastation was so huge that he wasn't, he, it was not like he didn't have a room to perform, so he waited for a while. はい、それで。はいえー、それでですね、まああのえー、今あの、お二人は関東の方、東京とか横浜の方に住んでいらっしゃるようなので、まずそちらでですね、このツアーを、えー、継続してやるために、えー、東京の方でですね、あのー、送り出しライブですね、先導ドライブということで、えー、企画されまして、でえー、そちらのご支援をいただきながら、えー、ツアーをおー決定されそうです。That had known of them from previous events, like during the summer or small concerts. They contacted about four different temples and told them that they, that Bruce told the temples, I want to take Curtis up because Bruce, from the first time he went up, he found no rooms, but he didn't care. He played for people in lines waiting for food and soups and water. But then he realized he couldn't take Curtis up because of the nature of the instrument. So anyway, he went. To several temples, and Curtis did too, and said, This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to go back up there again together. And the temple said, Of course, come and do little events. We'll put out a notice. And they charged Sen Yen a ticket <laughs> for these small little concerts. And they did four of them in about five days, and they got enough to go up and pay for their expenses. Cool. Hi. それで、まあ、あの最初はあのあそうです、ねえー、ツアーをされたということで。えーとまあ、その後にですね、えー、各その被災地を回って見られてあの感じたことを伺いましたはいそれで、はいえー、そうしましたらやはりその想像を超えたその災害の現場を見てですねとにかく、えー、表現は良くないですけどもお汚い、えー、そして、えー、雪が降ってきたりして非常に、あのー、気象条件も悪かった時期なので、えー非常にこう寒い、えー、そういったことで本当に、えー、東京の皆さんにびっくりしたそうです。So during the、uh, first part of the tour,、um, you know,、uh, the, the, div- the devastated area was kind of,、uh, you know, div- devastated. So, so then also it was cold, some places were still snowing. So、uh, first part of the tour, they were having kind of hard time. はい、みんなの心の中に戻したいなっていう、はいはい、それで、うん、まあとにかく、えー、頑張ってねっていう言葉をよくのあの周りの人は言われてますけどもあまあその「頑張ってね」っていう言葉も,も決して正しくはないんじゃないかという思いでまあとにかく乗り越えるしかないよねっていう思いでお話しされてました。うん
So, yeah, so, uh, you know, cheer up. Uh, people say, gambare or cheer up, you know, keep it up. But, uh, you know, as they go on the tour, it, it wasn't, they, they couldn't say, gambare, you know, keep it up to the people. So, by, by seeing all these uh, stuff. So, hi, so, na, hoka niwa. Hi. So, this is, no, Bruce and Kato san wa, so, no, その尺八とことというその日本の伝統的な演奏者であるということで非常にその日本人よりもその日本人的な心和の心日本の美とかそういったことを非常にこう認識あるいはそのもう体得されているような方なのですねそれであの日本人のその音楽まあお二人は音楽なんですけどもその日本の美を被災地でボランティアでお伝えしたかったということですそう so, uh, he you know he they are even though they are American they study Japanese traditional uh, shakuhachi flute and also uh, koto so they really understand the uh, Japanese and maybe they understand Japanese more than Japanese people so uh, they wanted to uh, by uh, playing this uh, doing this tour they hope that they can also pass on to Japanese-ness back to the people in the north by playing there Hi. あの、いろんなことができる可能性の。え、それで、え、そうですね、あの、カートさんがお話ししていたんですけども、えっと、あ、そうですね、カートさん、ブルーさん、お二人がお言っていたのは、え、この地震によるその地震と津波による被災です
、まあ、なんでしょう、ね、はいそんな感じでどういう国どういう人、はいはい uh, April is Curtis you could、uh, see、uh, April yeah、uh, he can he's, join he's on Skype I'm trying to get him right now、uh, okay but it, it's okay he, though I mean I kind of have to move on to the next show okay that's he, all right he,、uh, he, we, we can see him on the July 3rd show too、right? yes you can、yeah. you can so、uh, <laughs> Uh, so, okay. Uh, ほじゃあこんな感じですね、えー、とタカさんそうですねあの、まあ、一番冒頭にもあの言いましたけども、はい、本当にお二人がですね、うん、本当日本人以上に日本の心を持ってらっしゃるように感じたっていうことと、はい、あとやはりこう僕たちその、まあ、若い世代はですねあの楽器を演奏する方非常に多いんですが、えー、特に尺八とか。うん、ことをですね演奏される方は非常に少ないんですね、うん、そういう部分でも本当にこういったあの外国人の方の存在っていうのは逆にその日本の美を外から教えてくれるというきっかけにもなると思いますので、うん、これからのお二人の活躍に期待したいと思います、うん、はいそうタカさん said that you know like even the Japanese ourself start、uh, losing the opportunity to uh, um Uh, experience and appreciate this Japanese traditional culture too. So,、uh, by、um, covering them on, at the concert,、uh, you know, they, he was very impressed and、uh, appreciate that, that they would、uh, continue doing this um, um,、uh, stuff so that,、uh, you know. Like young people, young generation like us also can appreciate it at the same time. So, Taka san is also appreciated by、uh, them coming to、uh, Fukushima and perform and stuff. Are we going to be able to get Taka san down here to Kawasaki? Don't you think he would be great? <laughs> Taka san, come down! Taka san, this is the concert, 7th of the concert. Come down! <laughs> We need to have us all together one time. あの一つ最後に宣伝させていただいてもいいですか、はいえっと、カートさんがおっしゃってたんですけども、うん、あのコトウのベースはですね、うん、あの霧の木なんですね、うん、なんですけども、えっと、実はその福島県の会津いわきではなく会津なんですが、うん、え奥会津の方に三島町という町がありまして、うん、そちら霧の里ということで有名なんですけども、うんそこの霧が非常に素材としてはあの締まっていていい素材ということらしいです。Mm. So, uh, so uh, the, uh, uh, artist who played Koto said that the、uh, i is the、uh, one of the type of the wood. In English, it's called,、uh, I think,、uh, pole. Polonia.、Uh, like Empress Tree. Yeah, it's called Empress Tree. Or Princess Tree. Or f o x Is it a kind、tree. of pine? Yeah, I think so.、Uh, hold on. I don't know.、Uh, no, it's.、Uh, no, it's not. I don't know. But anyway, All right, I'll ask Curtis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Empress tree is the kind of tree that、uh, Koto, you, this,、uh, this Koto that you know, Curtis is playing this uh, uh, Koto, uh, the, the instrument. So,、um, you know, Taka san also wanted to say one of、Hello. the high quality, high quality、um, uh, Empress tree are.、Um, You can get from、uh, Aizu, Fukushima. So, Fukushima is also the place that、uh, where、um, where there is the、uh, um, the Japanese instrument Koto. Is, yeah, it's called.、Um, if Curtis just fa-、uh, sent us a message, Kitty, like a Japanese furniture, traditional、yeah. chests of drawers. Yeah. But what is it in English? Empress tree. <laughs> Empress tree. Uh, pl- Only. That's, Plonia is the、uh, academic word. It's the、okay, I got tree. It. Empress, Empress tree or princess tree, it's called. Well, there you are, Jim. I was going to ask for you. You're the translate helper. <laughs>、yeah. Well, I just、okay. found it on Wikipedia. Well, I'm, I, I'm,、okay. I'm seeing it on the Wikipedia too. So. so it's Emporia? Empress tree. 
No, 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 no. Uh, the category. Pol Polonia. Oh, Polonia. Okay. すいません、高さん。英語の英語の名前を探してました。<笑>はい。はい、えー、っと他には。えー、っとそうですね。まあ、えー、以上の感じですね。はい、わかりました。はい、so that's it from、uh, Ibris、uh, Iwaki dot net. Taka san, we now have a brand new website. Uh, so, I hyphen breeze hyphen iwaki dot net. Ooh, beautiful. And then we、yeah. will continue to、uh, bring regularly from iwaki Fukushima the news from the Fukushima that、uh, you wouldn't hear regularly from the、uh, foreign media and stuff. So,、uh, yeah, Taka san, kyo wa mo honto ni subarashi reporto. Ari ato z a i m a s Okay, it has been Taka san from Fukushima, Japan, ibreezeiwaki.net. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita. All right, everyone, this is Katz from Yokoso News, yokosonews.com. Yokoso News is the online website to introduce Japan in English so that you can understand Japan more.、Uh, so, but we usually introduce fun stuff about Japan in English. You can check us out at the yokosonews.com.、Uh, you know, we do all kinds of cooking shows and yeah,、uh, stuff. A culture show, but since the March 11th earthquake,、um, you know, Yokos News is also committed to bring some、uh, di- uh, disaster information in case of the disaster so that you would、uh, travel, you can travel, you can live in Japan comfortably for non Japanese speaking people. In Japan, or the people who want to plan to come to Japan, or people who have a direct relationship to Japan. So, if you have any personal questions, you can also、uh, tweet us at Yokoso News on Twitter, or you can leave a comment on the Yokoso News Facebook wall. Or、uh, there's a link on the contact us on the top right of the page of the yokosonews.com website. And you can also send us an email and leave us a comment. And then nowadays I have less email, so I can reply more often than before. So、uh, that is good. So,、um, so we are doing the weekly update. Of the、uh, what happened in the disaster of the、uh, 311.、Uh, yeah,、um, April, thank you very much. You,、uh, you may, if you have to go, you may leave whenever. But、uh, before you do,、uh, we, have a, uh, we have a concert.、Uh, April is organizing a concert in the March,、uh, July 3rd, Sunday, July 3rd, in Kawasaki, Kanagawa. Charity、uh, music for charity event presented by music Lantern Music. Please go to lanternmusic.net to find out more information about their event. And then、uh, we are working on something more too. All right.、Uh, oh, April went off. Okay. So、uh, now let's、uh, go to our. Regular weekly update of、uh, Japan. So, so、uh, Jim, how was, uh, how was uh,、um, Typhoon in your area? Just a whole bunch of rain and a little bit of wind yesterday. Okay, okay. So,、uh, we just, um, we just um, had a typhoon passed. Uh, typhoon second、uh, or typhoon, how do I pronounce that? What? The t- name of the typhoon. Is that so- a name? Yeah, so- Sogna or something. I, 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 I forgot the name, I just remembered the number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> number we, two. We, yeah, we, we、uh, Japanese actually don't use the name system, actually. But、um, so many Japanese only know as the s- typhoon second. Of the 2011. <laughs>、uh, Songda? Song, yeah, Songda or something. Songda? 
Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Who, who named this thing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> but anyway, so we just had a typhoon sunk down, and it did cause the, uh, um, some damages in Okinawa, Kyushu, and Sh- Kyushu, Shikoku, and then Fukui area. And some flooding, some houses got damaged. And then uh, some one or two people dead. I think one confirmed death and one people missing. So uh, um, uh, uh, yeah. So so then uh, it's it. Then when it landed to Fukushima area, or it didn't pass. It kind of passed on the Pacific coast side. Uh, it already downgraded to uh, extra tropical cyclone from the typhoon because less wind but uh, it did brought some heavy rain and then one of the concern of the north uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant was because of the uh, um, some of the uh, building got damaged by those hydrogen blasts so there's gonna be rain coming into the the nuclear power plant and that's going to increase the uh, amount of the uh, nuclear uh, radioactive contaminated water so uh, after the those uh, typhoon rain they've noticed that amount some amount of the uh, um, some amount of the water has rised especially in those uh, trench tunnel that they found amount of the uh, um, ha- the radioactive contaminated water and then uh, yeah that's pretty but um so they 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 had the rise of the uh, amount increasing amount of the radioactive contaminated water however uh the typhoon second didn't cause any much damage to the fukushima nuclear power plant itself so um uh it did raise some concern by the uh, rain because in the end it's going to be more leakage to the ocean but uh, so far, so far, you know, it should be kind of okay in a way. So uh, in terms, of, but as it traveled to North Japan, because many of the uh, um, area got sunk at most like three feet or 70 centimeters by the earthquake. So there are more places being flooded and there are more places w- which has uh, unstable uh, c- uh, land, so we they had more landslide and everything. So, um, so that was the uh, typhoon. Uh, so it didn't cause like severe damage. It did cause some damage, and it did brought some death to the uh to the but uh it's it was like dozen typhoon that we experience every year which we still have to be cautious about you know um about that so that's why i had to cancel one of the live cast last sunday so uh, what do you do for for the typhoon preparation jim uh, nothing oh you live in a pretty f- like s- strong apartment uh i don't know how do how do i tell <laughs> well you usually it was windy and didn't well, your i mean it was windy but there have been windier days i mean it wasn't a super windy day yeah 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 but i don't think there's a history of typhoons up this far north is there there are there are some 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 cases. Boo! <laughs> I should think about it then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, and then also uh, uh, the heavy storm is also uh, sudden heavy uh, concentrated storm is one of the uh, um, actually um, according to long term weather forecast. This year's uh, weather forecast, uh, according to JMA's uh, press releases and stuff, uh, Japan Meteorological Agency's uh, release a couple of days ago, 
that uh, this year's weather tends to be similar to the weather, summer weather a couple of days ago, which causes the concentrated heavy rain. Like only like small, small area of the uh, region gets super heavy rain. And only certain part of the uh, area get flooded, especially in Tokyo. Because of the uh, many location of the Tokyo is the uh, uh, filled with concrete, so um, not so many water are going through the land. So it's go it get easier to get flooded in Tokyo area. It's called guerrilla heavy rain because you know it's like a guerrilla show up suddenly out of nowhere and kind of cause the damage so uh yeah so um uh that's called guerrilla rain hmm. and so we experienced it similar stuff two years ago uh three years ago i forgot i'm sorry but it was in the japan meteorological agency's long-term forecast i'm sorry but uh so this year it has a similar tendency that those guerrilla, guerrilla rain could happen this summer and so not so much hot summer but uh we could have to get ready for guerrilla rain so be careful well if it's in the forecast here then of course i'm gonna think about it yeah but i mean the pro the thing think the problem of the uh problem of this guerrilla rain is it's it's so concentrated in a part of the uh, uh, region that that you cannot really uh, predict much in the weather forecast because the radar tends to capture like 10 square kilometers 10 square miles of the region but this guerrilla rain could happen less than that region like small small amount of the area so uh, um uh yeah so you kind of have to be careful with the weather what's up search me and what's up eyes how are you so um but without so um that's kind of sidetracked the the news but that's what's happening in japan so let's start from uh earthquake information so um you know this week the uh we talked about they talked about tourism agency lost about 60 percent of the customer in march and april according to uh, japan tourism agency on the may 24th uh um and then about we lost about narita airport lost about 60 percent of 63 percent of the uh, um, visitor compared to the last year according to narita airport uh, uh, company the release on the may 26 and then uh, yeah so then we lost about in a trade uh this mm, mm, yeah so this much and we they talked about a um oh and then uh, i have the typhoon news a uh there are about not typhoon news according to the ministry of land they have about seven over 700 locations uh in the uh iwate miyagi fukushima where the where the land are unstable and potentially they could have experience in the landslide in in when the uh, heavy rain happened 
And then, like, May 30th, um, uh, in Ofunato, Iwate, they start, people start getting rid of the car registration. So, in Ofunato, Iwate, about 3,000 cars, uh, Three, the 3,000 cars got swept away by tsunami, so local residents came to uh, those um, uh, the damaged car like park and like did some paperwork to uh, take the number plates off and stuff. So um, so this week, in terms of the North Japan uh, news, is uh, pretty much about a uh, reconstruction effort and then uh, the, res the research result uh, and the stuff. So then we have we I found the very interesting news from uh, Nikkei on Sunday that uh, um, okay so uh, last uh, last sun last I think last uh, last weekend I think uh, yeah from the May 27 to 20 uh, tw no, from May 22nd to 27th, uh, oh, I forgot, May 20, May 22nd to May 27th, in Chiba, they had a Japan Geological, like, uh, science, uh, like, conference and stuff to talk about the earthquake effect, and many researchers, uh, reported their findings. And then uh, the they they so according to Tokyo University's uh, earthquake institute, they they said that uh, from the conference last week that uh, this huge earthquake happened because of the two combinations of the short wave tsunami and long wave tsunami. Uh, merged at the at the coastal line of the um, Sendai, so that in enhance the uh, the power of the tsunami, and then so Kyoto University and Tohoku University joint team did the research about the plate of how. Um, how their plate moved and caused the damage and stuff. But from this uh, Nikkei's article, it's uh, you know many it's many uh, some researcher found out the precaution sign of this earthquake. For example, uh, they found some uh, uh, radio activity. In the 300 kilometers up in the sky, so GPS satellite detected some uh, unusual radioactive radio wave activity in the 300 kilometers top of the uh, Earth, uh, like in the air. So, uh, according to Hokkaido University, Hiyoki, Professor Hiyoki-san, uh, he detected some, those, some radio, radio wave activity uh, from 40 minutes before the earthquake. And this is similar to the he also detected during the Chile earthquake in 2010 and Sumatra earthquake in 2004. So, um, according to Professor Hiyoki from Hokkaido University, this uh, red, unusual radio wave activity up in the air, 300 kilometers air, by the GPS satellite could detect is very useful 
to forecast an、uh, earthquake which is bigger than magnitude 8. So、uh, then,、uh, in addition to it, um, uh, Hokkaido University Earthquake Volcano Research、uh, Observ- Observatory Center uh, uh, Moritani, Dr. Moritani、uh, have been detecting the earthquake. It's called Earthquake Echo. So this is kind of, this is FM. FM、uh, This is like a FM radio frequency, some echo stuff, which I don't really know much. But uh, uh, they start, they, they kind so according to、so、Dr. Moritani, h a v e been monitoring some unusual FM, echo, uh, uh, FM radio echo from last June. From the last year, 2000, last June, and by March 8th, the FM radio echo was getting the level from magnitude 8 to 9 plus earthquake. And so, uh, so uh, you know, so the, they said that this prediction system using GPS satellite. And the FM radio frequency uh, uh, stuff, they hope that they could the,、uh, predict large scale earthquake. And then,、uh, according to Dr. A. Moritani, they are still detecting the same FM radio wave. That is equivalent to M7.3 earthquake. Jim. Hmm? Did you hear what I said? The, I was they, sneezing. Okay. <laughs> They are still. So, Hokkaido University's、uh, Earthquake Institute,、uh, I mean, I don't know what their official English title is, but uh, uh, they are still detecting some radio activities. That、uh, could M7.3 class earthquake、uh, radio activities、mm. in May. In May? Yeah. This, this month. Oh. So they don't know why the, they, they detect this unusual、uh, radio activity, but. Uh, uh, According to Hokkaido University Dr. Moritani, they are still receiving the signal that the、uh, M7 class earthquake could happen. Something like that. So. Yay. Yeah, no. I mean, not yay. That was a sarcastic yay. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is the earthquake.、Uh, this is the earthquake prediction information. So. Yeah. All right, that's pretty much the uh, up- weekly update of earthquake and、uh, tsunami this year. Actually,、um, in addition to it, last weekend, last Friday, I went to、uh, talk to a、um, uh, hair salon, group of hair salon in Yokaichi Mie, Japan, who went to North Japan to support the hairstylist in、uh, Ishinomaki. Uh, Miyagi and stuff too. So, uh, uh, you know, one thing we know that、uh, we need continuous support uh, because uh, actually, as, as months go e s by, about in a half year, people will start converting from victim of the earthquake and tsunami. To the homeless, jobless people. So uh, uh, we need the long term support of how we can get them new j o b how we can get them new places, how we can get them start working together. Otherwise, uh, uh, financially, physically, mentally, they wouldn't be able to 
go back to the regular society. I think this similar stuff happened in Katrina too, and all other disaster areas like Haiti also. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. I have to get going now. Okay. Getting Jim. slightly late. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much, Jim. No, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jim. Boarding from Kazo, Saitama.、Uh, no, where are you now? I'm still in Kazo for,、oh. the, for the next month or so. Oh, okay. Oh, when are you going to move to Tokyo? June 25th. Oh. I'm moving to Adachiku in Tokyo. Oh, so it's much closer to Kawasaki then? Yeah, it's closer to Kawasaki. It's about an hour from、oh. Kawasaki. Oh,、okay. And it's the very, 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 very northern tip of Tokyo.、Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It takes about 30 minutes to get to Tokyo Station and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. almost exactly 30 minutes. Yeah. Cool. So, all right, thank you very much, Borden. Jim Borden from Kazo Saitama. Yep, talk to you later. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, the update now we are going to the update of the uh, uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant and then.、Uh, so, today's、uh, latest kind of breaking news, which is not really a breaking news anymore,、uh, at 2 30 p.m., which is about. Eight, almost eight hours ago,、uh, there, were, there was a small explosion happened in the,、uh, near the、uh, south of the fourth nuclear reactor building. What happened was、uh, tip, uh, they were remote controlling the huge machinery to remove the debris. At the south side of the fourth nuclear reactor, and that huge、uh, machinery, maybe shovel, you know, like a crane or shovel car or something,、um, uh, then uh, uh, so that shovel, the machinery hit the、uh, one of the oxygen t a n k Um, so, they were remote controlling the machinery because they don't want workers to get exposed to a high amount of the radiation on site of the Fukushima power plant. So, they used the remote control system. Then, those machinery hit the oxygen tank and that exploded、uh, eight, about eight hours ago. So, that was today's incident. And also, two workers. Two Fukushima workers were,、uh, were found out that they've been exposed to more than 250 millisievert of the radiation so far within this year. So that is not good. So、uh, that's the worst, uh, but um, that's the worst. Um, Uh, that's the worst、um, uh, radiation exposure that typical worker or typical contracting worker were exposed to. That was the news from the yesterday,、uh, yesterday May 30th. And then also,、uh, there are the news that many English teachers are going back to.、Uh, Yeah. Oh, then Yomiuri also h a v e a report that many English teachers are going back to their country and stuff too, I think.、Um, and then,、uh, okay, I have a news, a more detailed news about these two workers who was exposed to more than 200 millisievert, 250 millisievert of the radiation. So uh, uh, then, from, from their thyroid, they also detect about 9,000 becquerel of iodine 131 and 7,000 becquerel of the iodine、uh, 131 from their thyroid. 
two workers are in the thirties and forties. They work from the March 15th, March 11th, about 15 days. And those two workers are, were working at the third force nuclear reactor central control room. And then, uh, so including their internal exposure to the radiation. Uh, those two workers more likely to be exposed to more than 250 millisievert uh, of the radiation. So, and when uh, so today, March May 31st is the last day that the people from uh, the deadline that the people in the Itate village need to evacuate. So uh, people in Itate Fukushima are located in the north uh, west side of uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant which is uh, outside of the 30 kilometer zone. However, because of the wind situation, Itate village had more uh, radiation exposure. So, uh, to concern the, the safety of the residents, Itate village, people in the, many parts of the Itate Fukushima village needs to evacuate. And Japanese government set the deadline to evacuate as of today. So uh, many people has left. Many people wanted to had to uh, like uh, decided to stay. Some uh, doctor clinic shut down. Uh, so NHK and all uh, Yomiuri are reporting those news that uh, people in Itate village are evacuating outside of the uh, Itate Fukushima to 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 you know to have a less exposure to the radiation and then today about uh, 500 million yen which is about uh, which is about the uh, um, uh, like uh, six about six million US dollar damage pay has been paid to agricultural uh, as Japan agriculture uh, to to the then also uh, fishermen. So TEPCO had paid 500 million yen to uh, agriculture fishermen uh, farmers today. Uh, first batch of the damage pay payment. And when. Uh, Today, they were NHK was also reporting that conf, you know uh, conferences that w how much TEPCO should uh, cover the damages. What's the definition of the damage? You know, so some experts are debating that what is the uh, damage by the nuclear power plant and what is the damage of the tsunami and the earthquake that, that kind of stuff and then again I said earlier that uh, typhoon, the former typhoon extra tropical cyclone passed by the Fukushima nuclear power plant and it did bring some rain there so that uh, the radioactive contaminated water has increased a little bit because that rain got into the you know reactor building and those rain also got contaminated stuff but so far according to TEPCO they have not uh, those uh, rain contaminated rain has not leaked onto the water, uh, ocean yet according to TEPCO and when uh, so G8 summit uh, was held last week uh, so so uh, uh, so actually the news these these recently news were talking about how Germany decided to cancel their um, 
uh, how, how Germany decided to decommission their nuclear power plants and how Switzerland is also going to go to nuclear power plant free and how Japanese government still want to keep the nuclear power plant for and, and also, but at the same time want to uh, also try to go to the uh, green energy and stuff too so uh, um, yeah and also uh, May 28th uh, TEPCO said that uh, they had more data of the radiation so uh, it's kind of a small kind of news but uh, this is the one of the uh, another TEPCO said that oh we have more news so according to Yomiuri and NHK on on May 28th TEPCO released more data of the radiation for the first week of the incident so previously TEPCO only released the radiation data 10 minutes apart so TEPCO released the amount of the radiation uh, in a 10 minutes interval however TEPCO said on the uh, May 28th that they actually were monitoring the radiation every two minutes so uh, and so uh, then one of the uh, those uh, new shorter interval data for example on the March 15th at 8 8.55 in the morning around the central gate they have detected about 3509 micro sieber power so uh, but I mean you know uh, this is not this is much less than uh, uh, 9, 9 a.m. 11,930 microsievert of the highest radiation point but uh, TEPCO um, so uh, 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 TEPCO this is another like a uh, report that TEPCO we could say that TEPCO were hiding some data and TEPCO release it on the May 28th yeah so uh, yeah and when the uh, so good news one of the good news uh, uh, in the May 27th so uh, previously uh, Japanese government Ministry of Education set their kids allowance to the radiation exposure to be 20 millisievert per uh, 20 millisievert per year however uh, the uh, Nuclear Safety Commission object to the idea and soon after Nuclear Safety Commission object to the idea of 20 millisiever per year allowance to the kids uh, because kids are more sensitive to the radiation and then they could potentially experience the thyroid cancer from the Chernobyl experience so many parents in Fukushima stood up and came to rally to Tokyo to demand for tighter restriction. So finally, on May 27th, uh, Ministry of Education uh, made their restriction much tighter. So now school kids are only allowed to expose to uh, one millisievert per um, per year, and uh, of so that's that's um, that's what they said. So they 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 and they made the tighter guideline 
of the allowance. However, uh, they still keep the uh, they still keep the 20 millisievert just in case allowance limit of the kids. However, uh, they now uh, Japanese government. Uh, now recognize that kids should not be exposed to more than one millisievert per hour, per year of the radiation. So uh, 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 yeah. So uh, and when uh, it's. I don't know if I should even mention it. It, it could be waste of my time. But uh, so um, last week, uh, in between like May 24th, like May 23rd to May 26th and 7th, um, Japanese politician, as you might remember from the last weekly update, Japanese politician were criticizing. That the Japanese government told TEPCO to stop pouring seawater onto the nuclear reactor uh, on the March 12th. However, uh, TEPCO said that, that they actually didn't stop pouring the seawater in to the nuclear reactor. They continue to pour the seawater in on the March 12th on and the March March 13th and stuff uh, so it's like uh, TEPCO first said that TEPCO stop pouring the seawater in to the nuclear reactor because they thought the Japanese government told TEPCO to stop pouring the water because uh, Japan Nuclear Safety Commissioner Madarame-san said that pouring the seawater into the nuclear reactor is could cause the re-critical could lead to the re-critical stage and stuff. However, um, they thought that they stop pouring the seawater into the nuclear reactor. However, uh, the 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 on-site Fukushima Daiichi uh, on-site uh, 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 Kojojo what's the Kojojo in English but uh, he actually went against Tefco order to stop pouring the seawater and the on-site Tefco worker kept pouring the seawater in to the reactor. So, so, uh, uh, yeah, so it was waste of debate. Uh, but anyway, TEPCO ordered to Fukushima Daiichi to stop pouring the seawater in, and Japanese politician criticized that the, the Naoto Kan and Japanese cabinet member that they mistakenly ordered to stop pouring the seawater in for a couple of hours that could lead that would that would have led to the hydrogen explosion but uh on march may 27th um uh, no on may 26th tepco re uh ad corrected that actually tepco worker went against TEPCO headquarters order to stop pouring the seawater in so they actually kept pouring the seawater into the reactor on something so yeah on the on March 12th so uh, yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of yeah you know so, uh, all right. So that's that's pretty much the update of this week nuclear power plant. And then, hey, Cindy, I now see your. Uh, I now see your a um, 
uh, I'll now see your uh, Skype message. Yes. Uh, so some of uh, some of you already tweeted. Uh, to Yokos News before too, the TEPCO installed the new security camera on the nuclear power plant, and also well, I think uh, you know the TBS Japanese uh, TV station also installed the live cam on the YouTube. YouTube also offers a uh, live cam too, so you will be more. There are more、uh, webcam, live cam, which can monitor the、uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant now. So you could、uh, search it, I guess, on the website. And that's pretty much the, today's,、uh, this week's update of the、uh, tsunami earthquake. And Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So,、uh, damage payment s t a r t being paid to the fishermen、uh, and the farmers of Fukushima. And then they are also debating who,、uh, who should be paid, who shouldn't be paid,、uh, who and of the damage pay. And also, do there are some? Oh, there, there were some. Fa- I, I forgot to mention.、Uh, there were some fire in the morning of May 27th in the、uh, new, new Fukushima Daini. Nuclear power plants.、Uh, not the Daiichi nuclear power plant, there's a Daini nuclear power plant. And on May 27th,、uh, one of the electric board f a i l u r e of the Fukushima Daini nuclear pl- power plant's first nuclear reactors underground. First nuclear reactors、uh, the Adjacent buildings underground, electrical board of the uh, uh, light, lighting system. And then they, but they ceased the fire in three minutes after the fire. Uh, so, uh, there, yeah, on May 27th, Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant had a fire about three minutes. From the electrical board failure from the near first nuclear power reactors underground. And then. Okay. The, our concern is. Oh, then today. Uh. Today, one of the better news of the Fukushima nuclear power plant is that they、uh, it finished installing the uh, uh, s- cooling system of second nuclear reactor's spent fuel pools. So,、uh, on the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant today. So,、uh, f- finally, They were able to restore the cooling system of the spent fuel pool of the second nuclear reactor today. So, uh, um, uh, what happened was that the second nuclear reactor is the one that who, which didn't blow the、uh, which didn't get hydrogen blast, so they still have a, a concrete wall. In the, the reactor. So, so, uh, uh, so, so, uh, um, so because of they still have a, they still have a ceiling, those、uh, hot spent fuel p o o l water get vaporized, and inside of the second nuclear reactor's uh, uh, building got so humid. And typical workers ha- were having really hard time to go in and work. So they 
they install a、uh, cooling system for the、um, second nuclear reactor spent fuel pool, then they start working today. So, hopefully, by next month,、uh, right now, the water temperature of the、uh, second nuclear reactor spent fuel pool is about 70 to 80 Celsius d e g r e e Uh, which is like 20 degrees b- before the boiling point. And then, but according to TEPCO, they hope that they would, they would bring the temperature down to 40 degrees, like stabilized to the 40 degree、um, uh, level by next month. And according to TEPCO, they are planning to install the similar cooling system for the spent fuel pool of the first and third nuclear reactor by middle june and for the fourth nuclear reactor spent fuel pool they are planning to install by july so that's uh that's uh that's what、um, that's what the plan is and So, uh, yeah, uh, yes, I found it. So, uh, um, Tefco, uh, thanks, thanks to, uh, I think uh, we should, uh, uh, is there, Cindy, would you, do, do you know the、uh, link of the Tefco live cam in English? So, Tefco install the、uh, web live cam. On、uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant today. So, uh, uh, yeah, you would be able to、uh, watch the live camera of the、uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So,、uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Live cam. Thank you, Cindy. So let's see. It's night here, so I don't think you will be able to hear much. Oh, I need to rest. Oh my god, I need to restart my browser. No, no, no. I'm so I'm I'm not gonna start the Chrome. Uh, I don't want to close my safari, so I'm not gonna start the uh. They have lights on? Okay, cool. Cindy, thank you. So, uh. uh air cooling for workers or water cooling for the reactor, 90 bird?、Uh, water cooling for the spent fuel pool、uh, in the reactor. So, uh. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, what? Quick time plugin needs turn. Yes, always on. Okay, so there you go. Do I have the live cam? So you would be able to. You would be able to. See. Taking time to load. But it's taking. It's Mac. Oh, there you go. Now I have it. Cool. So, Tepco Cam. You can watch the live 30 minutes delay. And Ustream has like 5 to 10 seconds delay, so you are watching 40 seconds late of、uh, Fukushima Daiichi's nuclear power plant. Cool, black and white. 
so uh, URL did not work there in Texas for toys okay um, okay Alright, well, so uh, you can watch the live of the typical, you know, we kind of needed this live cam like during the first months of the incident, but well, it's better than nothing, right? So, so according to this website, they are filming the live image from like they're filming the live image of the first to fourth reactor so that's that's where the camera is facing to so uh, Yep. So uh, that's uh, that's anything else? Any other any other important update? I don't think there is any other important update. Uh, okay. All right, everyone. This is Kat from Yokoso News, yokosonews.com. Oh yes, one more, one more news I, I missed. So the fifth nuclear reactor of the Fukushima Daiichi on May 29th, Fukushima Daiichi's fifth nuclear reactor was not in operation. However, there are some spent fuel pool. Uh, there are some uh, fuel rods, spent fuel rod preserved at the spent fuel pool at the fifth nuclear reactor. And then, uh, so one time, the temporary pump uh, got broken, and the they weren't fifth at the fifth nuclear reactor. They weren't able to distribute. To provide the water onto the fifth nuclear reactor's pool for about 15 hours or more and then uh, the temperature went up to nine temper water temperature went up to 94.8 degree so uh, but they were they fix the uh, pump and the water temperature went down to 64.9 degree so uh, um, yeah uh, no uh, that this is the nuclear reactor okay so oh the, the reactors temperature Reactors, temp reactors, uh, water temperature went up to 94 degree, and then it went down. Okay, so uh, uh, yes. Okay, okay. So, so uh, fifth nuclear reactor is. Uh, Okay, now, but uh, the temp water temperature was almost went up to 90 degree and one cooling cooling system was partially down for like 15 hours. And then, uh, according to TEPCO, 
uh, on the May 28th. First and fourth nuclear reactors, the building still have enough, uh, enough, still keeps the enough um, uh, structure to withstand the earthquake. Uh, they are still continuing to, they are now checking second and third reactors building to check how they can withstand the earthquake. So, but on the, according to TEPCO on the May 28th, they said that nuclear reactor one and four of the Fukushima Daiichi's uh, uh, nuclear reactor one and four building, they can still withstand the earthquake, although hydrogen blast damaged some of the wall. And then uh, TEPCO are now investigating the, uh, the, 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 those second and third nuclear reactors building. And yeah, it was up, Tracy. Oh, you are having some internet pulse, okay. Uh, Lululu, where are the music coming from? The music is coming from Kevin MacLeod, uh, the, the band from the internet. Uh, Damien, nice chart, thank you. Uh, this, this is getting summertime, so... Uh, okay... What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, Cindy? Uh, okay, so that's oh, and then uh, I I A E A, I think I A E A research team is arrived to uh, I think I A E A research team arrived on May twenty fourth. No, no, I, and I'm sorry, IAEA team have met with the Japanese cabinet member on the mm, May 24th with uh, Kai Eda, Minister of uh, METI, and then um, uh, Japanese government agreed to provide necessary information to IAEA and they are going to conduct the in-depth research, including going to visit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, and then they will conclude the report uh, at the um, IAEA meeting in Vienna from June 20th. So, um, yeah about the building being able to withstand another earthquake. Yeah, I hope that they are right. So, who, 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 who. And... According to... Uh, okay, so anything else? Uh, yeah, okay, so that's I'm just making sure that I didn't miss anything. If I miss anything, let me know. Uh... Okay. All right. So, uh...
Uh, both toys. How many are still in shelters? That's good questions. Let's go check the numbers. Actually, um, we have more people. Not, it's not necessary in the shelters, but uh, evacuated because of Itate Village evacuation order because of the high amount of the radiation outside of the 30 km zone in the northwest of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Uh, let's see where it is. Uh, okay. Harry Cobier, yeah, you need to, you need to, the, the uh, TEPCO is live casting using Windows Media, uh, Windows Media system. And then I think I'm able to watch using the QuickTime in Mac. So, uh, then, okay. Okay, not there. I think I should go to NHK website to find the numbers. Okay, okay, found it. So according to NHK as on today at 6 p.m. So it's about uh, three, three hours ago. No, four, it's about four hours ago. So it's about 102,271 102, people are still in the shelters right now. 102,271 people in the 18 regions of Japan. The most number is in Iwate, 27,279. In Miyagi, 26,418 people. In Fukushima, 24,114 people. Then outside of these three prefectures, there are about 24,000 people. Most uh, people in the shelter uh, outside of these three prefecture, mainly because of the Fukushima incident, who are Evacuating outside of Fukushima, I mean, outside of the three prefectures are. And then another news from the NHK, nine o'clock, uh, seven o'clock news, uh, is that there are about a uh, thousand kids, over 1,100 children, who lost uh, one of parents. So Ashinaga Ikuekai is the uh, Ashinaga Ikuekai. What's their English? I think Ashinaga Ikuekai is the uh, uh, yeah Ashinaga is the non-profit organization which uh, which helps to uh, uh, which is, which is helping the orphans. And Ashinaga said that they they're about. 1100 kids who lost one or both side of the parents. This is twice as much as Hanshin earthquake in 1995. So, uh, alright, so that's pretty much it. Oh! So uh, now three minutes into the uh, three hour limit of the uh, um, live cast. So I think I'm going to finish my live cast in about two minutes. So thank you very much for watching your Kosu News 311 disaster update. Next live cast is uh, scheduled to do on the March 21st, 2018. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, today's March 20, March 
no may 3rd no I, what what did i say i mixed up with date so uh, next uh, live cast is going to be this 311 update oh did i did i screw up with the title oh my god i screw okay uh so next uh, live cast is going to be 8 p.m on tuesday june 7th 2011 the uh, same 311 update next week we are going to have a guest of uh, hachikocoalition.org the uh the john from san francisco oh you know what shoot uh oh my god not it might not be 8 p.m oh 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 anyway all right anyway uh okay let me okay i now have to okay yeah uh i'll get back i'll get back with the time later on all right oh my god i it's i all right okay it's coming up to the limit of the recording so i'm i must finish now so everyone thank you very much for watching Yokos News 311 disaster update number 38 please like us at Yokos News on Facebook please follow us at Yokos News on uh, Twitter and uh, I will in I will also give you the emergency update if something happened on those Facebook and Twitter otherwise if nothing happened otherwise I will see you live cast at 8 p.m. maybe not other time I forgot on the Yokos News live cat. Alright, thank you very much everyone. Thank you Harry Kobayer. Uh, everyone, thank you Bot Toys I Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get off now. Alright, bye!